comes up and says thank you. And little Boy Scouts, little girls. The 11th honor flight took place this past year and one lucky World War II veteran experienced it with his grandson. And the helpers, the, in many cases, children or grandchildren of the veterans, why well, they were blue. But it was all organized and they were told that if they had good Belco tape, they were going to tape us together. And they were supposed to make sure that we uh, didn't fall down. Now, for I qualified for World War II. Charles Day was sent his draft papers after attending college at San Jose State. He signed his enlistment papers to the Army in 1944 and served 36 years and later found himself retiring in 1980. Uh, get out of uh, from San Jose State and I'm in Stanford working my MA, PhD and hey, come, you got 10 days. <laughs> On the flight back home after visiting the war memorials, the veterans received thank you cards for their service from friends, family, and admirers. I mean, it was really moving. Rocky Wilson is another Army veteran. He enlisted in the Army at the end of World War II and climbed up the ranks just like Charles Day. Give me my, my rank, my next step on my rank, you know, they, they, they kind of made you work for it. You just didn't automatically get it. Charles Day now spends his free time playing Mahjong and teaches his neighbors the game. This game room may look empty right now, but Tuesday nights it is full with Charles' neighbors learning to play a new game. Charles Day has dedicated his life to serving our country and appreciation for his service is recognized nationwide. Kaylee Hunt, Fresno State Focus.